Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy, I'ma shine. And today we're gonna be making two beats. I was uh, streaming live on Twitch today at uh, twitch.tv slash I'ma shine. And uh, I started up a beat live on Twitch and then I didn't really like it, but it, it, it ended up coming out pretty good, but I didn't really like it. So I ended up starting up another beat, which is the beat you hear right now in the background. Um, so I'm gonna showcase my process and you know all the sounds and stuff that I use and all of that So uh, but before we start I'm gonna need you guys to uh, follow me on twitch man Like I, I stream almost every day or at least I'm trying to stream every day I just started streaming on twitch making beats and stuff And uh yeah, if you got time just stop by and watch me make some beats man Comment you know I always got the mic on so I be talking you know the people be talking back um, I got a nice overlay that I did. I designed that. It's pretty cool. So yeah, the link is in the description if you want to uh, follow me on Twitch and uh, subscribe for more. Of course, uh, I'm trying to do more different content besides the stuff that I usually been doing. But uh, let's just get into this video. All right. So at this point, I have found the sounds that I was using. Um. I don't exactly remember exactly what sound this was. It was, um, I named it Dream Mallet or something like that. It's from Expand 2, which is a dope VST. You guys should try it out. I got it um, for free when I purchased my uh, Akai 49. It came with the software or whatever. It came with it. So that was cool. Um, so this is just my stream overlay. What you're seeing right now is my stream overlay when I'm on Twitch. Um, obviously, nobody was uh, commenting. <laughs> but uh yeah so what i was doing i was like trying to find melodies or whatever and uh i didn't know exactly what kind of beat what style beat i was going to make or trying to make but uh um you can hear me in the background um i need to adjust the volume because you can like my system volume i guess is way louder than my mic when i'm streaming so I'm uh, gonna fix that, but uh, so right now I'm just laying down some melodies, some ideas, just getting into the thick of it, you know, and uh, it's, it's coming along pretty cool. The uh, DAW that I'm using is Cubase 5, which was released in 2009, so a little bit of primitive technology there. Don't uh, don't try to cook me for it, but. I like it because of its simplicity. That's why I like I use it, even though I probably should upgrade. <laughs> um, so I was using um this tubular bell. I think that's what's called. It's in our um, Trap Legends uh, contact library, and this is probably literally the only sound that is out of key, which is like I guess a mistake, but it's not really. It's pretty cool that it's out of key because you know you can find the key and probably find like a different pattern or a different melody while you're at it but uh, i was just trying to find a key for this tubular bell and uh you know get it to rocking and all that all right so at this point i uh found the key that the bell is supposed to be in and i laid that down it was just a simple one little stab now i'm adding these like ominous keys from this uh vst it's a standalone uh, a, stand a standard plugin with Cubase 5. I think it's called Spectre. Um, I don't know the preset name because I have I usually have my favorite preset saved as like something else, a different name than the original factory name. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we're about to fast forward a little bit. Um, so, what I did now is I just took our main melody, which was like this uh, mallet uh pluck thing that i had i put a lo-fi filter on it um just to make it a little dark um so yeah i uh lay i double i duplicated that and just found another sound and layered it with the main melody so it's just basically hitting the same pattern all right so right now i'm doing the uh drums and it's like it's just some simple trap drums and you probably heard them before but um a vast majority of these uh like the clap snare 
I think all of these are the from the Shoddy Red Drum Kit, the official Shoddy Red Drum Kit. Shout out to him. Um, I, I caught that from him like a, a while ago when he first dropped it. It's the official, official Shoddy Red Drum Kit. So if you don't got it, go to whatever his link is and hit him up and, and cop that. It's, it's a really good kit, man. It's dope. Um, so right now I'm just laying, laying down some drums. Simple, clap, snare, you know, that blah, 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 right? I don't think we have to like you know go into detail about it <laughs> but um i'm using battery 4 vst which is uh i think this is made by native yes yeah, made by native instruments again i use a lot of native in instruments uh in this which is i use contact and uh battery but battery 4 is pretty cool um i'm surprised it actually works on cubase 5 which is pretty old <laughs> that i use but um yeah, I like Battery 4. It's pretty cool. It's dope. I mean, it's honestly the same as Battery 3, just better, better looking. I don't really use all of the features of Battery 4. I just use it for the fact that it's a sampler that allows me to just throw my, my drums in. And it's, um, I can easily program it to my machine if I'm using that or the drum pads on my um, my Akai Advanced 49. So that's one of the ma major features, uh, reasons why I use it because of that feature. I am stuttering. So I'm just finalizing these drums, just throwing out some simple claps, double claps. Um, and then I think I'm about to layer with like snare and then like this little percussion hit sound or whatever. Then I'm quantitizing everything. All of that jazz. And you can hear me uh, talking in the background. This is a voiceover, what I'm doing right now. And uh, all this audio came from the stream, the live stream. So if you hear my voice very low in the background that is why okay right now i just loaded up contact and loaded up our recent contact library which is the trap legends contact library it has over 100 sounds you guys should get it at prosounds.com i will put the link in the description and um so what i'm doing right now is I'm, i was uh, adding some brass i was thinking about adding some brass um, just because it, it was it had that trap feel to me and like that trap anthem feel kind of I know like a lot of people don't make those beats for real like not anymore but it's a personal favorite to beat of mine that I like to make so it's a good genre you guys should get back into making music like that man it's hot stop making these guitar beats no I'm joking <laughs> um, so yeah I was just putting down some um some complimenting melodies with these uh brass from the uh the library i thought it was pretty dope honestly i thought this beat was kind of whack <laughs> just a little bit that's why i ended up starting a whole new beat which we will get into momentarily after i keep hitting the same notes and quantizing them so yeah i'm just quantizing right now uh, i'm using hot keys by the way which is it, it improves the workflow by like a hundred percent bro like just double clicking it in clicking control q no control yeah just no highlighting it and then clicking q it quantizes everything by like whatever your thing is so i'm just throwing down some simple super simple kick drums right now it's nothing fancy about it it's just adding on to the bounce of it so we about to move on All right, so right now I am doing the 808s bass, literally the best part about music, trap music, hip hop, rap, the best part. Um, so I was, um, I had an 808 loaded into a battery, but I ended up not liking the way it was like crashing and hitting with the drum and all that, the texture of it, sound. I didn't like it, so I ended up opening up my various pack of sounds which as you can see these are all pro sounds products because we're the best in my opinion <laughs> but um, i was looking for a specific 808 here because i didn't like the one that i previously loaded up and i couldn't find look at this it's terrible i found it 
Um, I opened up the, uh, I believe it sounds like Little Baby and Kana. I was like, I need a way better 808, bro. Like, I need something more modern, more, I don't know, kick, it had more bow, you know? And that boom, boom, boom. You know, I needed something like that. And then I just started playing around with it. And, uh, yeah, we had a cool little 808 pattern after that. Alright, so I layered the 808, I threw that down, I quantized it, you know, all that jazz, fixed it up, made it sound good, and I think at this point is when I was like, I don't think I like this beat, man, <laughs> it was not a bad beat though, it's pretty cool, I might throw these loops, if you want these loops in the pack, just let me know, I have to throw these in the pack, that's something I still have to file on everything, but it's pretty cool, um, so at this point, I uh, changed the background sound because I didn't like it. It was more like a, it sounded like an offbeat, like Donkey Kong Congo or something like that. Like once I started adding more elements to the beat, so I ended up changing it because I just hated it. Like it was just disgusting to me. And I'm just cycling through some sounds, and then I found something. I don't even know what section I am in on the uh, in the expand browser. I was just clicking left and right. And then I started playing on the keys. Playing on the keys. Moving on. Alright, so right now I'm just finishing up. I was just, uh, I had to switch to a bell for like the complimenting sound or whatever. And then I just started messing around, playing some, some melodies or whatever. And I started going crazy. You hear that? I think that's hot. I don't know. Now looking back at it, it's probably it's fire now. But when I was making it, I was real like, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I started, I started not feeling it. Like I was just like, it was too simple. You know, even though I like the simple, the most, the best music is usually super simple. But I don't know. All right, so let's get into beat number two. That's this beat. This beat is cool, but let's get to the, the one, the meat and potatoes. All right, so this is beat number two. Um, I was using most of the sounds from the old, the other beat that I, I made. Um, but I wanted to make something like an anthem, like with brass, and big, like and full, and just high energy something like an intro or outro or like something that you would hear like on a on a like a soundtrack to a video game something like that so these are this is the uh what i started playing what i came up with i think this little this little four four bar section is crazy i think it's hot so i'm just cleaning it up Oh, this brass is from the uh, the Trap Legends again. It's still the Trap Legends. I think it's brass number. It's probably like the last one in the in the uh, pack. So once you open it up, you can uh, just scroll down and find it. It's like the last one. <laughs> now this this sound right here is crazy. This is still that sound from Spectre that I opened up when I first started the other beat. But I started hitting only the high notes on it, and it made this ominous, like, it made this ominous, like, effect thing. It's like, you hear it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, it's just pinging off each other. They're just bouncing left and right through your ears. And it's, it's, it's nice, man. It's dope. All right, so this is what we got so far. This is our um, like the intro to the track, nice and uh, dramatic, dramatic. Um, and then for this next part, like the main rapping part, the main verse or whatever, I switched it up. The main pattern for the uh, brass. Yeah, I think that's hot, man. That's dope. 
and now I'm throwing um, another brass from the same pack, same contact library. Just some complimenting little dun 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 dun, you know. All right, so at this point, I added this um, live um, like symbol, like uh, it's like a live drum kit thing. It has like symbols and hi hats and stuff. So I threw that to give it that more cinematic feel. Like I, I love adding like cinematic like pieces and sounds to like hip hop, trap, R and B, rap, any anything like that. I like adding energy to it. I feel like stuff like this adds energy. So this now I'm adding the. Uh, another like this ghost sound I, I caught <laughs> you hear me in the background going crazy it's like this ghost pad synth thing I don't know exactly how to describe it but I think it's dope for these dark anthem type beats so I ended up throwing that in that sound is also from Spectre which is a um, steel is a default plugin with a uh, Cubase I'm not sure if it's on the newer ones but this is Cubase 5, so if you have Cubase 5, you will have that plug-in, and that sound is somewhere in there. Just find it. Alright, so now I open up Silent. I have not used this VST in a while. And, man. Um, so I loaded up this uh, ARP from the Trap Inception preset bank that we released like about a year ago. Um, if you don't know... I, I, I like to think that we at Pro Sounds have the best silent sound banks when it comes to hip hop, trap, R&B, right? It's like a lot of people or the, you know, the developers, a lot of developers that make silent sound banks, they make them for like EDM, trance, uh, dance, dubstep, house, you know, that kind of music. So I really pride myself and, 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 and us at Pro Sounds on the dope sounds that we make for silent, for hip hop, R&B trap producers. So if you need some silent sound banks for hip hop, R&B trap, go to Pro Sounds, man. We got, we got it. <laughs> we got it. So um, yes. Yeah, so right now I'm just uh adding this ARP stab, like dun dun, just just layering sounds. I'm just layering more and more sounds that add to the action of the track. Um, this is from the uh, Trap Inception preset bank that I mentioned before. Um, it's pretty dope. Check it out. <laughs> it's time to hit the drums in. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so now it's time to hit the drums. I'm still using the same exact drum kit from the first beat. I don't know, I was being lazy, I guess. But. Honestly, I think the drums really complement this beat more than it complemented that beat. Just because this beat has more energy, it has more fullness to it. Versus that beat was real simple. You can just dissect that beat like, like a frog. So I'm just laying down some simple drums, claps, snares, kicks, all that jazz. Alright, so now I added this flute. This flute is so dope, man. This is probably my favorite part about the beat. Oh, man. I think this is like this is the last sound I added to it. Whew. That flute cold. I can't give that sauce up, man. I can't give y'all that. But if you know, you know. Alright, so that's it for this beat. If you could, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps the channel out a lot. And, uh, if you want, man, just comment. Let me know if you're feeling this video and how I did, like, how I did the beat, or how I did these videos, how I can improve. Like, this is a, a new thing for me. You know what I'm saying? All the links are in the description. Please hit me up on uh, Twitch. I'm gonna try to stream daily. Just follow me on there in a chat room chat it up with me all that but uh so i'm about to get out of here and i'm gonna let y'all hear the beat from the top it's, it's crazy peace <laughs>